there. It's Carol Morrock at carolmorrock.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Solo and Smart, where you receive achievable tips when growing older alone. In today's video, I want to talk about the unexpected consequences of an aging world, how the improved infrastructure and better living conditions have helped people live beyond 60 years of age. We are more biologically fit than our ancestors due to the better conditions for children from many decades ago. And what's surprising is today in this world, there are 900 million people on earth who have reached their 60th birthday. And because of the lower fertility rates by 2050, listen to this, 2.1 billion people in the world will be 60 and over. And all of those people will inhabit this planet. So the biggest unexpected consequence of longevity is with a growing number of older people, the question is, who will take care of us? So let me ask you, have you thought, that, thought through that question? Who will take care of you, especially if you're growing older alone? So there's a great deal of care that will be needed. In the United States alone, the booming segment is a byproduct of improved developments, medical advancements, science and technology, even vaccines, antibi antibiotics, and improved hygiene have kept infectious diseases minimized. And safer conditions for children have evolved, which contribute to healthier and longer lifespans. So after my parents died, I decided it would be health that is my priority as I grow older, because I know the healthcare and family caregiver systems will experience a heavier burden because of the growing numbers of uh, people my age. And it's true that medical advances put a stop to some, disease, to some of the diseases, but now in the 21st century, we could face many more associated with chronic conditions which continue to multiply. Take, for example, the rise of diabetes and hypertension, the two top diseases. Since 1980, diabetes has risen from 104 million people to 425 million today who, are, who live with diabetes. That's quite a jump. So do you wonder why is that and what are the causes? I mean, what caused that big jump? Maybe we should ask ourselves that, right? And, and start um, asking, how can I personally minimize that risk? I don't know. That might be something to consider, right? By 2050, 80% of the world's population will have one chronic illness, while 60% will have at least two. And in, uh, in 2018, the National Institute of Health, I believe, declared approximately one in three of all adults worldwide suffer from multiple chronic conditions. To, uh, to say we're facing an epidemic of, cro of chronic illnesses is really an understatement, don't you think? I do. Um, so what can be done? Uh, what are some of the things that we can do, you know, to mitigate it or to, uh, you know, to put off getting a chronic disease? Uh, well, we can wait for medical signs to remedy the chronic illness epidemic, but that's probably not a good option. So it's up to each of us to step up and take responsibility. A few ways to do that, and you probably know the drill, 
get regular checkups, get annual preventative medical tests, uh, regular exercise, learn your family medical history, and, and of course, discuss everything with your doctor. Um, and even your doctor can give you uh, some highlights and tips about staying healthy. So eat nutritious foods, avoid sugar, refined carbs, drink a lot of water, and limit the intake of alcohol. And of course, stop smoking. So the list, this list is your best prevention. However, there's a process to take deeper dives or that require deeper dives in staying healthy longer. It takes forethought, time, and commitment. And most of all, it's a willingness to learn through research and talking with other experts and people outside of just the medical, uh, Western medical type of uh, industry. But again, don't make any changes without talking to your doctor first. Uh, you know, family caregiving was my wake-up call to future planning. And I knew back then there would be no one to take care of me. And now it's my mission to spread awareness of the importance of self-care. Well, thank you for visiting today. Circle back. I'll be back with more tips and achievable ways for people to grow um, safer and more independently when living alone. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this particular video a thumbs up or a like. I appreciate that. And I will see you soon. Thank you again.